So here's what I think of when people say four wheel drive, right? Uh, two speed transfer case, uh, lockers, uh, manual transmission, uh, and there, there's a lot of good to be said for four wheel drive, but it's not for everybody. And I think for the vast majority of people, uh, they're better off with all wheel drive. Um, I drove an Audi for almost six years and uh, it really changed my mind about all wheel drive. So that's where I'm coming from is, is a heavy four wheel drive background. I've owned, I, I'm not kidding, about 30 uh, four wheel drives, multiple Jeeps, lifted trucks, everything, uh, and built them up, suspension, and uh, upgraded the, the drivetrain and, and uh, built true four wheel drive. So this is true four wheel drive. It's got e-lockers here. I can lock both front and rear axle and get all four wheels turning. You know, there's no uh, limited slip or anything like that in between me and the ground. So uh, this is four wheel drive. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's crazy. Oh, uh, I got these uh, WeatherTech mats. Uh, obviously, you need those around here. Um, really nice. I mean, they fit really good on the 2023s. This company right here, WeatherTech. A uh, couple hundred bucks. Try to get some of the snow off me. Okay. This thing was beeping at me as I was getting up here to get a shot by the Jeep, but uh, it was saying tipping hazard. <laughs> okay. So here's my driveway. They plow this road up here so the first little thing right here is the berm from the snow plows okay so uh, typically these can freeze and get hard to get over this one's not so bad but you can see the whoops the height of it over there These people drive fast around here they're used to driving in the snow me not so much all right, this is uh, solid ice on these gravel roads and a little bit of snow over it. They've plowed them and graveled them, so um, they're pretty good. So we'll get up here where we can get in some snow, hang on. So we're going over to a friend of mine. He's not here, but uh, I check on his house, make sure his heaters are going and his plumbing isn't freezing. This is driveway. And as you can see, it is not very. Woo. Okay, so I went over the berm. It was quite a high berm. And it had to work at it. And then the collision control, you know, it was close to an obstacle or something, and the van started beeping. But like he plowed last time he was here but I will be checking his house get turned around here and of course Mercedes is 360 degree now the van's working a little slipping just a tiny bit And I'm gonna go in and check his house real quick and I'll be right back. So this is the highway we're traveling down. We're pulled off in the view area. There's a lake 
by my house about 20 minutes away and they're out there ice fishing. Yeah, this is a beautiful country here. There's the old uh, Sprinter. Okay, so here we are at a pretty steep grade. It's about six, seven percent and gravel road covered with ice, a um, little bit of snow on top. They've plowed it. And uh, underneath this harmless looking surface is, is a sheet of ice going up this hill. I got studded snows on here. Ought to be no problem. Uh, I've been sliding around a little bit on these type of roads but uh, this, with the, uh, I had all season and now I've got the uh, studded snow tires and it's pretty much been no problem. I can see, I can feel the all wheel drive traction system kicking in, working a little bit of wheel slip and then it catches. So we'll film this going up this hill. This is, here, bloody. absolutely no challenge for this thing so I don't know I you know when you're comparing 4x4 four four, true four-wheel drive to uh, uh, all, uh, limited slip all-wheel drive system uh, it's kind of apples and oranges it just depends on what you're going to be using it for if you're not going off-road seriously then uh, I think all-wheel drive is actually a better solution so um, a lot of people were concerned about the loss of the uh, four-wheel drive on the 2023s, or excuse me, the four, four by four. But uh, I don't think it's that big of an issue. I, I think this is going to work for nine out of ten people, and only the person that's really going to go truly off-road. Here's some snow. We'll go in here. Uh, all right, got it, Inga. I'm going to give it a. Okay, so I punched it right there in that three, four inches of snow and it just clawed its way through. It slipped a little bit. I mean, it's really uh, seems to be a pretty good system. Uh, and I've got some a frame of reference because we had an Audi Quattro for almost six years driving in this stuff. Um, and it, it's, it's not that big of a deal, right? And people here in Montana know how to drive in this crap, so. Um, <laughs> I'm doing the same speed limit I normally do up this road, uh, which is 30, 35 miles an hour. There's some blind corners, so you got to watch it. But you got some Yahoo and a big 4x4 coming flying around the corner here. But um, anyway, I'll get back uh, when we have another obstacle. Okay, I just got back from my test drive and. I give you my final thoughts, my final verdict. Uh, I think the first question that people should ask themselves, do I really need true four-wheel drive? Two-speed transfer case, you know, on-demand, uh, high-low range, all that stuff, right? Unless you're doing some serious off-roading, uh, you know, unimproved roads, washed out roads, muddy, deep mud, deep snow, uh, you know, where you're going over and around obstacles uh, and, you know, you've got your vehicle set up, it's lifted, it's got bigger tires on it. You really want to get out there away from everybody, right? Okay. If that's the case, then yes, I would say definitely go with the 4x4 four four as opposed to the all-wheel drive. Now, that said, you're talking about a very, very small percentage of people. Most people that buy these 4x4s and equip them as an adventure van, they're not going to do that, right? They're not going to want to take their $150,000, $200,000 Sprinter conversion and four-wheel that thing. 
okay? I four-wheeled for years. Let me tell you, trail damage is a real thing, right? And there's nothing more deflating than doing a few thousand dollars worth of damage on your Jeep or your lifted truck four-wheeling the thing, right? Do you really want to four-wheel this thing? Seriously. Most people want it. They're, they're going to drive on the beach. They're going to go down forest service roads that are pretty well groomed. They're going to go in campgrounds where there's a little bit of mud. They're going to go up skiing and getting up the snowy roads and around the lodge and all that. Uh, you know, they're going to do stuff like that. Their country club, on, they're going to drive onto the grass end field and they don't want to get stuck on that slippery grass. That's what this is for, okay? It is not, Mercedes never intended people to four-wheel these things hard, right? Uh, they're delicate. And I, I think you're uh, kind of asking for it. I mean, as long as you go into it eyes wide open and you know, hey, I can do thousands of dollars worth of damage on this thing very quickly, it might give you pause, right? And so when you look at the all-wheel drive, how it drives, that, that's one of the biggest selling points to me on all-wheel drive is it just drives like a normal car, right? It's invisible. The traction control kicks in and out as it's needed. You are unaware maybe that it's even going on. You know what I'm saying? It's just uh, the computer senses some wheel slip and it sends power to the other wheel and it just keeps doing that and get you through the obstacle, right? Uh, and, you know, you saw me, I was in some pretty, you know, not real deep snow, but it was five or six inches uh, at times. And going over snowy berms from the snow plows uh, up, leaving businesses, that little lip up onto the road, uh, going up some five to seven degree grade hills, and all that, and it, the all-wheel drive system performed flawlessly. I never at any point felt like I was gonna get stuck or, or um, you know, that you know the van was even working that hard. I mean, it just worked great. And uh, anyway, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, happy with my decision. I, I think that uh, people are seeking out the uh, 22s with the four by four and the V6, and um, I don't know, you know, they're not, discounting those uh if if at all uh because they realize that people are trying to snag the last of the 22s to get the v6 and the true four, four by four so uh anyway i come from a pretty heavy four-wheel drive background and until i owned one this audi q7 i drove around for six years in this muck uh, i i kind of poo pod all-wheel drive but uh Man, they've come a long ways, you know, and I'd say for the vast majority of people, all-wheel drive is the better way to go. The four-cylinder bi-turbo, more, more power than the V6 turbo diesels. Uh, just, I, I think this 23 Sprinter is their best yet. That's, that's my personal opinion. Everybody is going to have a different opinion. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, a lot of the fears and everything that were associated with this transition to the four cylinders and, and the all-wheel drive are, to me anyway, put, put to rest. I mean, I, I'm happy with it, my decision to go this. I could have bought a 22. I look, I, there's plenty of them out there. But uh, I decided after driving this one that it had more than enough power. I was familiar with uh, Quattro and the Audi, and I thought, well, you know, if the formatic system is nearly as good, then I should be happy. And it is, and I am. So anyway, that's my little uh, review of the all-wheel drive system in the new 2023. And uh, if you're looking for one of these, uh, you know, test drive them. Test drive them both. And uh, I think you'll see that the ride quality of these all-wheel drive system is far superior to the, you know, on-demand four-wheel drive, when they're in four-wheel drive, that is. So, um, you know, and it's always on, it's always doing its thing. So, uh, you know, most of the time, you're not even gonna know that it's engaged. It's just gonna do its job, right? So anyway, uh, coming to you from snowy uh, Montana and good luck with your search and your decision and Hopefully, uh, I'll see you on the next one.